Let's get back to Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. When Imam Hussein left Medina, did our Imam leave Medina to start a war? Did he? Who goes to war and take their wives and their children? Who does that? Our Imam made his hijrah towards Mecca. And while our Imam was in Mecca, there were a group of people in Kufa who decided, you know what? We hear what's going on. We know that there's a problem within the Islamic ranks. We know that Yazid should not be the one who rules over us. We know that he's an alcoholic. We know that he likes to see monkeys and dogs fight. We know that he is an immoral man. So we're going to send Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, all of these letters inviting him to come to us and we're going to support him because we believe in his cause. These people, because they believed in the Imam of the time, they were making a move towards belief. Our Imam, during the season of Hajj, he was there in Mecca. Why did our Imam leave? Because he heard. Yazid told the people, go to Mecca. And if you see Hussein, the son of Ali, even if he's hanging on to the side of the Kaaba, take his head and bring it to me. Our Imam, he left Mecca, not because he couldn't support himself there, but he left Mecca because he said, how would it look? How would it appear? The renegade son of Rasulullah stayed in Mecca and caused bloodshed in this place. For those of us who are Muslims, it doesn't matter what sect of Muslim you are, how is it that we can get behind anyone who says, go to Mecca and kill someone, when in Mecca, the mosquito, his life is valued. You can't kill him. You can't kill the pest. You have to let them live. But yet these individuals are sitting there talking about killing the grandson of Rasulullah. They were making a hijrah towards Kufa. Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, he leaves Medina to go to Mecca for refuge. He gets to Mecca and finds that he can't get any rest. The people, each and every one of us, we become the people of Kufa. Why do I say that we are the people of Kufa? Because we say, Allahumma kunli waliyakal hujjat ibn al-Hassan. Yes? We pray all the time. Oh Allah, hasten the return of your proof to us, the son of Hassan, Imam Mahdi, ajalallahu ta'ala faraju sharif. We're begging for Allah to send our Imam to us. We're saying that we're going to be his supporters, just like the people of Kufa said, we're going to be the supporters of Imam Hussein. Those people in Kufa, they made an oath. They made a promise. They made a commitment. They said, oh Imam, come to us. We will support you. We will protect you. We will fight with you. We will bring justice into this unjust world. For those of us living in this time, our oath is the same to Imam Sahib Asri Wazaman. All of us are at the crossroads. All of us are at this critical point. All of us need to decide tonight, what is my personal relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to be? Am I going to be the one who gets to know my Lord? Am I going to read my Quran? Am I going to pray regularly? Am I going to get to know those who know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala best? Am I going to know who Rasulullah is? Because if I love Rasulullah, I will love Allah. If I love Imam Hussein, I will love Rasulullah, I will love Allah. 